everyone, welcome back to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky and Milton and we are getting ready to leave. We're actually leaving tomorrow for California so I thought I would give you a peek on what we're packing for the girls this time. I'm very happy to be sharing this video now and not last time because I've narrowed it down to what we should bring and we're actually packing lighter this time around for the girls so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity. So first thing I wanted to mention is their collars and we went to the beach a few times with them last time as you may or may not know and it was quite difficult to handle any sort of fabric or leather collar when we go to the beach because it stays wet, it gathers salt water so we're bringing these this time and they're like a stink proof, waterproof uh, material and they look really cute too so I'm not going to be too worried if we go to the beach and have that collar dry as this one will dry by itself, it'll be easier to maintain. Also, we're bringing food, obviously. I'm bringing about this much. This should be good for about a week. And why I'm bringing this amount is because we're obviously gonna buy more food when we're there. But when you try out new food for your dog, you should always transition the food over. So this is what they're eating right now. So we're gonna transition to their new food, not buy a, a format that's too big. I'm gonna try to get them something similar over there so that they can transition their food. If you're going for just a few days, this amount would be good and you can just adjust the quantity according to the duration of your trip. But make sure that you bring enough to be able to transition their food over if you're going for more than a week. Next is really important is a portable water bottle. Especially on trips where you're gonna be very active with your dog, you wanna make sure that you have water handy on them when you're on the go, when you're on a trek, or when you're at the beach, whatever. So we love these portable water bottles and they're really affordable too. I think you can get these for about five to $10 on Amazon. Next is an emergency diarrhea kit because Herky has diarrhea quite often and easily. So we brought the Fortiflora powders. These are probiotic powders and the diarrhea medication that I usually give her. If you know that your dog is sensitive, for example, to ear infections or eye infections or anything, make sure that you have your emergency tools or products handy when you go on vacation. And on that same note, we always like to bring some ear care and eye care. Milton uses this on the daily for her tear stains and I like to clean their ears uh, once or twice a week. So if we're going away for two weeks, I really want to have this handy, especially if we're gonna go in water. If we're gonna go to the beach, it's important to keep their ears clean. Again, for hygiene is a toothbrush. Now this is dual-ended because Herky uses the big side and Milton uses the small side. This is their enzymatic toothpaste that they love. I try to brush their teeth every day or every other day. So this is very important that we do it still on vacation. Shampoo. I know this is unexpected, but on our previous trips with the girls, we always end up finding a pet store and buying shampoo because we end up going on some adventure and they get really dirty, so I always end up needing shampoo. So try to find something that's not too big, that's kind of portable. This is sort of a small format that I could find. I bought this in California last time, so we're bringing this one with us again. As for treats, I don't want to bring too much and I wanted to make sure that I bring their favorite. And right now they're really enjoying these chicken fillets from Trader Joe's and also some bully sticks. This is their absolute favorite treat ever. So I wanted to make sure that they have some over there if ever they get anxious or if ever they want some sort of treat or some downtime. I wanna make sure that they have something that they like. So this is all I'm bringing as far as treats for them. And on that same note of playtime, you don't wanna to bring too many toys, but you also wanna bring something that reminds them of home. And this is their favorites right now. This is Milton's favorite ball, as you may recognize it. She always wants to play with this one. It's the small Kong that squeaks. And Herky really likes this little guy here. It was part of the set, but she likes to play with them alone. So this is what we're bringing as far as toys. For poo bags, make sure you have some handy. These are not difficult to find, but I always like to have some extra on hand, so I'm bringing three rolls of these earth rated. They don't take a lot of space, and you wanna make sure that you have some around. I also like to keep some poo bags on my actual carry-on in case an accident happens on the plane. Next is for hygiene again. I always like to have baby wipes on hand, whether I'm at home or on vacation. So this is a really quick wipe down if your dog comes out from outside. Quick wipe down for the paws, for the face or whatever. This is super handy. And as far as grooming accessories, I still like to bring a nail clipper, some scissors and a brush. Now this is a good brush for overall smoothing and I like to bring their scissors too in case they get knotted and I really need something to cut off some little knots. So those are the scissors 
scissors and the reason why I'm bringing the claw cutters is if ever they get injured or if there's a little accident with their nails, I can just clip a little part off. So always good to have this. Next is to make sure that they have their identification tags or anything that you like to use. This is Herky's set. It has uh, her name on here, my phone number, her rabies tag, her emotional support tag, and also the emotional support patches that we're going to put on her harness. This is completely optional, but I'm also bringing in an extra set, one for Herky, one for Milton, of a harness. These are cuter than the other ones, the Julius K9, we bring on the plane with us, but this is just a cuter alternative. Seat belts, super important, even if, when you're on vacation, we always use harnesses and seat belts on them when we're at home, so we do no exception when we're traveling. We have two of these, we're also bringing a car tarp to protect the car because you want to make sure that they're protected and that the car is protected too. So car tarp and seat belts. And some small towels. These are their bath towels, but they're also gonna double as some blankets if needed to line the car or to line wherever they're lying down in the bathroom, wherever. This is really good if you need to bathe them, if you need uh, a wet down or anything. So we like to bring two small towels. And last but not least, your documentation. You need your certification to be up to date. This is their health certificate and vaccination certificate. So you wanna make sure that this is up to date and that you bring it with you, that it's uh, reachable and that everything is in English at least. Oh, I also have some calming medication here for the girls. If ever I feel like they need it, we always use it before a flight just to make sure that they're not too anxious. It is totally optional. And last but not least is to plan for heat if that's the case. I think Milton might have her heat during our stay in California, so I'm bringing her little panties. Of course, uh, their clothing, any accessories that you want to bring, those are optional too. We're bringing also one set of pajamas for them to sleep on the bed with us. So that's it for our packing video. I hope it was helpful for you. Herky, what do you want? So that's it for our video. We hope you enjoy and thanks for watching. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.